I will teach you how to calculate pressure vessel for fire pump system. Uh, if you want to learn more about fire protection system designs, please take this Udemy course. Flow rate calculation. Before you going to size your pressure vessel, you must calculate your flow rate. The flow rate is equal jockey pump flow rate. Jockey pump flow rate equal two horse reel flow rate. The two horse reel flow, one horse reel flow rate is 30 liters per minute. Then two horse reel, horse reel flow rate is 60 liters per minute. System maximum and minimum pressure. Maximum pressure must be calculated according to NSPA or PSI standard. You can use uh, carrier pipe si sizing charts to calculate friction losses and other things. This is an example. Jockey pump pressure 10 bar. Main fire pump pressure 9.5 bar. Jockey pump no flow pressure 10.5 bar. The no flow pressure is the flow rate is 0. Then head is 10.5 bar. Main fire pump cut in pressure 9 bar. This cut in and cut off pressure can set using these. Uh, you can see there is a three pressure switches. One switch for one main fire pump and the switch for another main fire pump and other switch for jockey pump you can set these pressures if you have any doubt ask your question in comments and also you can ask many more questions in udemy course that Udemy course is lifetime course. This is the DIN code equation. This is a German code. And you can see this equation in this code. VE is your pressure tank size in cubic meters. There is a constant Q max P A delta P and S and S is switch and number according to kilowatt of your jockey pump and Q max equals 60 liters per minute to equal 3.6 cubic meter per hour. The Q max you must use this uh, 3.6 cubic meter power. This must be in cubic meter power. Then PA equal 10.5 bar. It's the maximum pressure. And delta P is 10.5 bar minus 9 bar. It is 1.5 bar. It's the minimum pressure in your system. The jockey pump kilowatt equal 3 kilowatt. Then switching number is 60. Your pressure tank size is 150 liter. This is a calculation sheet. And also you can find this Excel sheet in Udemy course. Thank you.